All right. Let's give people just a minute here to jump in. Can you hear me, Greg? Make sure everything's working. Yes, I can. Sweet. I'm doing good. All right. <clears throat> okay, we'll give people just a second here. How's your day going so far? So far, so good. Got up earlier than I had planned and uh, got out for a walk before the rain started. So, yeah. So far. Um, milk the cows <laughs> i did have to go and make sure that i turned the bee the beehive the electric fence around the beehives back on yesterday but i was done working out there because i keep forgetting to do that okay nice um i don't see today's game on the in the games yet really yeah i'm refreshing nice. again here uh, latest one on there is still robot uprising Okay, that's weird. It's supposed to automatically go on, but there you go. Now refresh. Okay. I'll make a note to fix that. There it is. All right. Um, fix. All right. Where's everybody? Slacking off. I know. All right. So we're going to start off and uh, let's just do it. We don't have to wait for anybody. So uh, today is spa day. So treat yourself. <laughs> Use the FX, the ocean effect sample as this foundation for a spa track use pad synths or whatever you like to make a very hypnotic relaxing track that you would want on in the background of a deep tissue massage this could easily be long for the sake of the but for the sake of this exercise keep what you upload under a minute bonus points if you incorporate the attached one shot pad file into your production i don't even remember what that is so there's the water Is that it? Yeah. So it's just it's just the first part of that sound. <laughs> I think I rendered it too long. It's been a few weeks since I've seen this. <laughs> <laughs> so it might as well be new to you too. Huh? It's totally new to me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, I guess just make a spot track. You know, I was thinking about this. This may not be the best exercise, but let's do it anyway, because a lot of spa music will just be like a held pad chord for like sure 80 bars and then <laughs> changes chords and then just holds it for a long time so it could be like super super basic so i would say let's make it a little more interesting than just that maybe put a groove into it maybe put something but keep it definitely oh. spa day spa -ish, but with a little more movement than you might otherwise expect yeah, yeah. yeah okay otherwise cool. i think it'll we'll bore ourselves to death here yeah <laughs> just stretch out that ocean sound and stretch out that one chord and call it good right <laughs> <laughs> exactly all right well get at it um right on. you're gonna have more than enough time you got 55 minutes so i'll see you at the, see top, you at the top of the hour okay later all right so anybody's watching live um I am going to get started here and uh let's get this show on the road. So I've got my Ableton Live pulled up. I use Ableton Live for those who could care or care less. And um 
I'm going to try to make something good. So we got to put my audio output to be Zoom. Zoom. All right. And then, so I've got this pad. And that is a chord. I can't tell you what kind of chord it is, but it is a chord. And um, one of the things we could do right off the bat is we could drop in a sampler or simpler and then put this sample into it like this. And now if I hold a chord, it'll just play that. But what I could do is now bring this in and I could have this repeat or flip back and forth. So we could say loop. How do we turn the loop on? And fade. I don't know what that does. Snap loop. That's nice, but now we have this issue of um, it's cross, what do you call it? Crossfading. So can we clean up the crossfading in this in a quick, easy way? We're going to add a little... Maybe add a little bit. So fade. I don't know what fade is. What it does. Um, I guess I can read it here. Loop crossfade. Yeah, that's what I want. Loop crossfade. So let's add. Maybe even more. I don't know. Maybe even more. Hey, Bev. Um, I hope you're doing well. I see that you're online. We just got started. Um, the game is basically yeah. to create a track that's kind of something that you would hear in a spa or, yep. um, you know, something in the background. So, yeah, thanks. Yeah. If you want to get started. Okay, so, go ahead and start it. Yeah, go ahead and start. And I'll see you at the top of the hour. Okay. Just awesome. jump the same Zoom call. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for being here. You're welcome. Okay. Bye. Bye. Now it's still, I think if I go in and find a spot where maybe here, and then maybe same thing over here, I want to find a, a spot where it seems to And maybe crossfade even more. Maybe more over here. Let's try. That sounds good. And what if it, instead of end, what if it goes back and forth? So I should know how to do this fast. I hate that I don't know how to do this fast. Loop, snap. Oh, snap. 
means enabling snap will make the start and end point snap to the waveform zero crossing. Okay, let's do that. And then zero, how many voices re-trigger? When enabled notes who are already playing will be re-triggered rather than generate an additional voice. Okay, that's fine. But I want it to go backward. I want it to go forward and then backwards. Actually, might be. All right, so we're going to use this as our base. And I'm going to just go ahead and add a note. And um, let's do um, this. Okay, and then we're just going to say, mm, something like that, and we're going to grab that and we're going to loop it. Bring this up to the about there. Let's dump reverb on this to try to smooth that out. This is actually kind of important. And let's grab a little reverb and we're gonna make it, the decay really short, no pre-delay, pretty big side. And just use... Now that's interesting. There's a diffusion, there's a choral effect I'm hearing. And maybe grab the very top auto filter. We're going to drag this in here and just cut off anything really. this whole thing. Something like that. Do we have sort of this trance kind of thing feel? I've got my ocean. And actually, I want to just loop this. And... I want to remove any time at the beginning. I cut time here. 
Gonna start off. And let's add another note here. No, that's not going to be good. Let's get some movement. It feels very dead. So it's just like me. And so one thing we could do is add the LFO tool to this. We got to figure out a BPM. So maybe 55. And let's, instead of a recorder note, let's do just whole notes. No, half notes. Okay, and then let's add, um, Let's add in a instrument that's like complete control. Let's do um, let's add in. To do analog dreams, I want to add in this piano postcard. I like that. We're going to grab those notes. I uh, didn't record it. I don't know. Okay, so that is my note, and I'm going to start it about like that, and we're going to just do this, we're going to grab that, and we're going to loop it.
Okay. And I'm going to grab audio effect rack is what I want. Utilities, audio effect rack. Grab it, put it in here. And I just need to automate this chain. Actually, I don't even want this automated. Okay, we've got a nice little vibe going on. Let's add just a little bit of beat now to it. <clears throat> and I keep thinking that. Let's try this garage kit because it's very tight and I'm going to add some effects to it. Um,
Trying to find a base to work well for this. Maybe this one. All right, let's go down a couple octaves. like that but it's the wrong sound maybe this one no maybe this one Okay, and now I want to put a little bit of a filter on this. And we're going to put some delay on it.
Hey, I'm making spa music. Woo! Hey, Bev. Hey, John. Am I too early to come back? No, you can hang out with me. Okay, great. Well, in that case, I have like, so how long is it that we have a half hour? No, you have till the top of the hour. So um, oh, it usually, it's hour. usually around a, a little less than an hour. So one time, I should remember that. I'm going to remember. It. Okay, I'm going to go back then and keep working on it. Okay, I'll see you at the top okay. of the hour. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>
Super Spa. Treat yourself. Okay. The only other thing I could think of is maybe putting a uh, little bit of a exhale in here. Let's just see what an exhale thing would be. Now that pad is C minor ninth. So yeah. Uh, Airy, let's do slices light. Change this to C minor. Dream smile. that is not going to work for this track so we are done that's all we're doing here and i'm going to render this um and we're just going to do that much of it does that spot a version one
I'm going to use the bathroom. I'll be right back.
Okay. What we got? I got to upload now. Thought I just rendered this. Where did it go? Spa day version one. Did it not go there? Cancel. Oh. Robert. What is up, my friend? Not much. I almost missed you guys. I, I woke up at 12.15 and I was like, ah, oh, I got to get. <laughs> Damn. Do you work nights or something? No, I took a, I took a nap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> cool. Trying to, trying to get mine loaded now. Oh, man. Why is this? Oh, good, it did. Okay. There it is. Sweet. We'll just wait for uh, Greg and we'll get started here. All right. Greg and Bev. Oh, Bev back. Okay, cool. Yeah. How are you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Good. What do you do for work? Well, I'm actually on disability right now. Oh, okay. I uh, work for communication company Spectrum. Mm. Uh, Twenty-two years. I was out in the field. I was actually the person for businesses that came to troubleshoot and install the internet and telephone systems. Okay. And going up a pole, I got got stuck, hung upside down for a little over an hour, tore all of the ligaments and tendons in my knee. Oh. So they banned me from the pole. And if I can't go up a pole, why am I out here in the field? So I went inside and 
then I developed back issues <laughs> after 22 years of pulling cable and crawling up under stuff and crawling over stuff. And it, it finally took its toll. So now I can't hardly do anything. So, so I'm just dealing with my back right now with the doctors and everything. But so they got me on disability. Wow. That's how I have a lot of time to do music. <laughs> Well, good. I'm glad you're feeling up to doing that at least. Yeah. Um, that's tough, man. It is. Now, really do you have a family? Yes. Yes. I'm here with my wife. My, my kids are grown. Okay. Uh, 28, 29. So. Gotcha. Well, oh, cool. Where are they? Uh, Texas, Texas, Dallas, and my sons in Dallas. No, my daughters in Dallas. My sons in uh, I can't remember. But they're both in Texas. There's Greg. All How's right. it going, Robert? Hey, hey sir. All right. Well, Bev, I think we'll be here shortly, but let's just get started here. All right, so we'll wait on Bev's. Uh, let's start with yours, Greg. fantastic oh <laughs> thanks yeah I, I, it was the challenge with this one for me is that as i, I said in my note there that I, I learned that i don't know how to do spa music i kept wanting to do things that just were totally <laughs> off mission <you> know? <laughs> heavy beat and really dark chords and i had to just keep braiding myself in <laughs> yeah no i think you did a really really good yeah. job i like yeah, that those you. little um are those little congas or something that you're doing it's a, um, it's just one of the uh, patches in chromophone, uh, which is an applied acoustics uh, uh, synth. Um, great for for like melodic percussion stuff because it's it's a modeling synth, so it, it models the sounds of different thing different kinds of things being hit by different kinds of things. Okay. Um, so you can get very realistic sounding percussive sounds, but every like sounds like that are what it really excels at stuff where you've got something that sounds like kind of a real instrument, but not anything specific. Oh, okay, cool. It's really nice. Um, and I like that it just kind of fades in and fades out, you know, it's just, it's it, without trying to be there the whole time. And was that like a little, what was the little plucky thing? Um, that that was another chromophone preset. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Now, did you, use the, did you use the sample? Yep the the two chords the um, the first chord is the sample, and then the second chord is a different pad doing a different chord. 
Oh, okay. Uh, what? Wow. Let me hear that again. Real quick. I know. I hear something. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah. 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 yeah and then okay. there's like a there's a glass pad over the top of both of them that changes chords with them to kind of make them blend together a little better. So it works. It works really cool. nice. Oh. Thanks. Very cool. cool. Did you have did you do anything to the water? Did you EQ it or anything? All I did was uh, gave that a little extra stereo spread. I mean, because it was already spread pretty well, but I really just washed it way out to the sides. And that's that's that, that didn't touch it other than that. Awesome. Hey. Awesome. Well, it sounds great. Thanks, guys. Oh, Lindsay. We got another. We have, we have another player. <laughs> What's up, Lindsay? Hope you're doing well. Uh, so this was Greg's. We're going to just play it again real quick here. played the whole thing a minute ago but i just wanted you guys to hear it it's really good so check it out awesome all right robert you are next um let's make sure i've updated here um oh they're awesome let's play robert's next That's Robert, man. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Getting those solos in there. Holy and shit. I, I, and I did the whole wave length, but I, I saw in the notes, it said, you know, don't do it for the whole length. So I said, I mean, just cut it. Oh, that's fine. You know, and yeah. It gives, gives us a, a sample. I thought the chords that you did were just beautiful. And the patch you used was awesome. What kind of, what patch was that? It was like a Rhodes and I thought of Greg, so then I put some uh, sound toys on it just to mm. give it some movement. <laughs> <laughs> That's I keep a... missing the sound toys. Let me just grab it and put it on here. You're going to be a sound toys aficionado. <laughs> like, be great. Yeah. Uh, I loved it. Um, I think if for a spa music, I think the solo might be a little too much, but it yes, was. Yes. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to. I, I just, yeah, yeah. I, I just kept feeling it. You were getting you know? bored, and you're like, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I kind of was. It was awesome. Man. It was really good. Well done. Anything you want to say about it? Um, I wanted to add some uh, percussions, but I mm. didn't. No, I can mm. say I, I fell asleep, and I woke up, and I said, "Oh, I'm gonna miss it." So I just kind of hurried up and put something together. And cool. I said, nah, but yeah, I was going to do a lot more, but I didn't. Okay. No worries. It was great, man. It was awesome. Thanks. Sounds uh, to me like, um, it sounds like, uh, uh, almost like an astronomy show soundtrack, like a planetarium soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just I the, 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 it's got that, that, that cosmic feel to it, you know, and all that, that movement, the runs in the, in the solo there. You know, it's just, it's, it's great. I can see that. I can see. You can hear. Uh, um, it's good to get to mine. What's, what's the famous physicist that's always doing astronomy shows? Oh yeah. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson. I can hear him. Yep. Being, like, 
the universe <laughs> is magnificent. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, Bev, you got two in here. Oh, hi. I just play the, um, cause I didn't, anyway, I got the times wrong. So just play the, um, this one? uh, the first one, that one right there. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Let's check it out. Was transporting yeah is that boring enough for you <laughs> boring at all it was transporting. Okay. thank you very I, very tastefully done thank some, you for some reason i kept hearing or thinking of dialogue right uh -huh. over that yeah and i was like oh. oh man that 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 would be great for a movie thanks robert <laughs> yeah um it's my it's my uh niche for sure i um because I'm not very good at doing um, percussion and things like that, so or beats. So I said, "Well, I'll stick with this." And I'm, I think I'm, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at it, and I love it. So that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna pursue. Very. I was, I was gonna ask if this is a style you work in a lot because this had just, just like this beautiful build throughout, but without ever getting too big. Yep. Um, yep. I mean, it was just, it's just, the, just beautifully crafted. Thank yes, you. Uh, Jeez, made my day, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> it reminded uh -huh. me of um, of uh, bagpipes, like off in the distance. Oh, yeah. that's brilliant. Yeah. That low note that's just always there, and then yes, the, like, melody, that drone. Uh -huh. That drone. That's, yeah. I think that's the key to spa music. You have to have one sound that goes the whole way, like it grounds it. Um, I uh, to me, that's what what makes it really, cause you're, it's, you have to focus the person who's doing a meditation will focus on that one sound. Um, but that's how I found so far. This is, I'm just getting into it. So oh. yeah. Thanks you guys. Awesome. Okay. Beth. Well done. Thank you. Good. I was on the hills of Scotland 
for about uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like that <laughs> don't let the studio fool you <laughs> yeah right <laughs> It sounded like the soundtrack music for a sunrise is what it sounded like. Ah, to me. It's got that kind of, you know, steady. Yes, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that's funny, uh, Zion, because I, I did just um, submit one yesterday for a taxi brief for a meditation song. And that's what I called it. Scottish Moors. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> How weird is that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, cool. Yes, I'm feeling the energy you're putting out there. That's good. Thank you, Bev. You're welcome. Thank you. And it's good to have you back. Yep. Yep. When I saw the spa day, I was like, oh, I think I can do that. <laughs> <Got me laughs> honestly, even if the other ones aren't really your genre, by yeah. forcing you to yourself to do the other ones, okay. it will make you just so much better at doing spa music. Okay. All of this adds up. You know, it's like, all right. You just you'll learn your dom more even if you never touch that genre again yeah i encourage okay. you to stick with them you know thanks i yeah i will Lindsay, thank you for joining us hey I, you know it's, this happens i'm in i'm in tennessee and so this this thing happens in the middle of the day on thursday and my life you just never know where i'll be on thursday i was sitting here and uh what was i i forget, oh, I forget what i was doing but i saw your uh email and I went, okay. And then, you know, it's like I clicked on it. It wasn't it wasn't showing the game thing for a while. And finally, yeah, there was finally, finally it did. I went, okay, I'll 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 uh I got a little time today. My car's broke and I can't go anywhere. And you know, <laughs> so you know. <laughs> so there you have it. Cool. Let's check it out. Um, did you, so I, I take it you recorded this with your own guitar and a microphone then this isn't yeah. A yeah yeah no it's like I've been I've been uh I've been arranging some things in dadgad tuning and I, I thought oh spa day oh ocean oh <laughs> okay here I just I just threw it all up there and just you know and you know I usually spend way more time doing guitar stuff but I just I said, this is through composed to just play and just let it be what it is. And so it's excellent. Tell me about the uh, pad that you're using yeah. in the background. Yeah. The pad comes from uh, um, a Sanyu score plugin called Eliason. El El I don't know okay. if you're familiar with that Sanyu score mm -hmm. stuff. El Eliason, that there's a pad I'm also using the bonus points. I took that 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 pad thing that you had, and what I did was, I made it a, uh, I recorded it at sixty beats per minute, and I made the pad thing uh, a two bar uh, a two bar thing, and then I took uh, a plug in that I've got and I pitched it way down because it was not in dadgad tuning. <laughs> it was in <laughs> it was in mainly it was in C. I think that's where where it landed. 
C minor nine, I think, is what it yeah. is. Yeah, and um, and I um, I, I pitched it down, and then just you know went there. It is <laughs> <laughs> cool. It worked really well. Can you tell us a little bit about your um, uh, what would you call it? your signal flow for recording a guitar? Like what? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, okay. I've, I've got, it, you know, it all starts. It all starts with the guitar. I've got a, I've got an old D eighteen, and the D eighteen is, uh, you know, that's it's it's just a great sounding guitar. Uh, oh, is that Norman, nice? A Neumann KM eighty four. Okay. And uh, that goes into uh, just one mic. Yeah, that was just one mic. Yeah, I've got. I I, I record in the stereo sometimes too, but you know, hey man, you only gave me an hour. I didn't have time to <laughs> pull all that stuff out. Uh, I've got. A, I've got a nice ADK uh, custom shop mic pre. ADK. ADK is the company they make mics. Mm -hmm. There's a. I use a. Uh, it's an Art Pro VLA compressor tube compressor. Thing sounds and uh, so uh, and again, I record. I got, I've got a, I've, I've got a, a radar and is radar, uh, so for audio, and that's what I use, that's what I record through, and then back into um, I do everything in logic, okay. So, cool. So. cool, and then do you put, I mean, the, the delay you're using is that. In your hardware signal chain, or do you put that on as a plug-in over the top? The delay, uh, you know, I record. You know, I just, I just record with, you know, and put a little click way in the background. And uh, the other thing, the thing from Elias and Elazen or whatever that thing is, I can, I can't talk. Um, it's, uh, it has, it has some pulse things going on in it, but uh, I played to, I played to a quarter note uh, click and. Um, uh, the delays. You guys familiar with Valhalla plugins? Yep. That's that's yep. Mm -hmm. that's that's their super massive. Uh, okay. Yeah. Delay thing. You know, it's like I just I, you know that stuff's endless and that'll eat up your time. I just said, okay, here we go. Something that's got reverses and it's eight. It's a eight, dotted eighth note and it's you know and then just turn it on and blend it in and say, okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I, I love that. I love that that stuff, and I don't don't get a chance in my world. I don't get a chance to do uh, stuff that's. I just don't do a lot of ambient stuff. So yeah, we should because <laughs> it's amazing. Um, really? What what genre do you usually work in? Uh, whatever's paying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest. I'm, I'm you know it's like I've been fortunate to make a living doing music for uh many years and so um all the time looking to get better at what i do and i'm you know now i'm uh i'm a little older and so i'm not as busy don't have to be as busy i can turn people down now and so uh, you know i'm just do i'm just doing stuff to make myself happy <laughs> cool. well it's an honor for wow. you to join us man this is fantastic so thank you so much mm -hmm. Well, awesome guys. Anybody else have any comment on that one? Except wow. <laughs> um, I will, I think we only have mine left. I'll show you mine. I put a little beat to mine and I had to slow it down to like 45 BPM, which was weird. My dog was screaming at me going, are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> see how it came out.
that's it. So nice sign. That was really nice. One of the things that I uh, learned on this was I wanted that sample to just sound like it's constantly going without Mm -hmm. feeling it re-triggering. So I probably spent about 15, 20 minutes just working with putting that into a sampler and getting it to play and loop without any kind of cut in it. Okay. Which was tricky. Yeah. Um, So I had to use just a DAW sampler to do that to where it just keeps cycling through without. And then I still had a little bit of a, you know, right when it looped. So I had to EQ that out as much as possible. And then I dumped the whole thing through a reverb and did it all the way wet with a really fast decay. Mm -hmm. So it's really, you're just hearing it all going through a reverb module, which kind of got rid of, it kind of, um, glued it all together a little bit but that that took out most of my time just trying to wow. make that consistent all the way through um and then i just used a bass and and that had some portamento in it so it kind of slides a little bit mm-hmm. just for some interest um overall i think it's fine it needs something it needs it it, it would need something more i think but or maybe not. I don't know. If you're getting a massage, you probably don't really, really want. No. To, you know, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I actually tried to put some vocal samples in there and it just did not fit. And I'm like, yeah, right. Edit, edit, you know. <laughs> I thought of the same thing and, and came to the same conclusion. <laughs> <Did you? laughs> this, stuff yeah. takes, this stuff takes so long to do. You know, it's like, you know, it's, it's like, it's uh-huh. just, you know, you get hung up in the weeds of making your making your sample loop correctly. You were talking about the sample that you gave us, right? Yep. But then the sample. You know, I I I, I don't know how to use. I'm I'm a guitar player, and so it's like I don't know how to use all the keyboard, all that stuff that's in there. It's like if I turn it on and I find something, oh, that's good. Before we go there, other than that, <laughs> I look at the clock. Oh, I've been here two hours listening to synth sounds. What the heck? <laughs> 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 right yeah that's one of the things i like about these exercises is because you, you don't get a lot of chance to really get in those weeds you don't have time yeah. i did today but i probably shouldn't have um but sometimes you just got to go hey that's going to take too much time to find that right snare this is going to be the snare i'm going to use go you know? <laughs> yep i'm not going to worry about it <laughs> um no, that was fun. That was actually a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, really exactly. fun to hear your guys' stuff. Y'all, y'all all have really, really nice stuff. So, well done, guys. Well, cool. Thanks for joining us. That's it. Thanks, we'll, uh, Do this next week, same time. Yeah. Thanks, Sam. Sorry about the confusing right. emails. It'll be a little easier next time. I hope. <laughs> you were still on that cruise, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Man, my brain is. <laughs> All right. See you guys. Have a wonderful week. You too. Bye. 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 Bye.